So in the next 20 minutes, we're going to briefly cover uh, basic structure and function of the heart and uh, what happens to your heart and vascular system as you get along this uh, process of aging. So in simple words, the heart is one of the most important organs in your body. It is the size of your fist. It weighs about a pound and pumps blood to the rest of your body. Now, as you look at the heart, the left ventricle is the main pumping chamber of the heart that throws the blood out into the big artery called the aorta, and ultimately it goes to the rest of the body. Also, um, you know, there is electrical pathways in the heart, there is muscle issues with the heart, and each of these things can have different diseases. Just to give you a comparison, the way physicians look at heart under different diagnostic tests, this is an ultrasound on the heart. This is again an uh, ultrasound representation. The test is called an echocardiogram. We are able to throw some color in there and be able to see the flow in different chambers of the heart and see if the valves are leaking and how the flow goes by. Now what happens with aging? Uh, as, and this process of aging starts right at birth actually. The arteries in your body, no matter where they are, they actually start becoming less elastic less compliant, they become more stiff in simple words, and ultimately the bad cholesterol gets, starts getting deposited within the vessel wall. That process is called atherosclerosis. And as a consequence of these changes, various diseases happen. So the high blood pressure or hypertension, blockages in the heart arteries causing you to have chest pain called angina, the plaque ruptures in the heart arteries and forming a blood clot, ultimately leading you to have heart attacks. So the last few minutes I'm going to spend on coronary artery disease. In simple words, the fatty deposits build up in the blood vessel wall and they narrow the passageway for the movement of blood. And the resulting condition eventually leads to blockages of your heart arteries. And it can cause a wide spectrum of symptoms, but the worst would be a heart attack. Since 1900, cardiovascular disease still remains the number one killer in the United States. Almost 2,600 Americans die every day with an average one death every 33 seconds. So as I mentioned, some of the main causes of coronary artery disease include your high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, smoking, obesity, and lack of physical activity. About treatment, most, this is a lifestyle changing disease. The most important thing with this disease is that you have to uh, change your lifestyle, you have to control your risk factors. So in brief, how do you prevent it? Get regular medical checkup, control your blood pressure, check your cholesterol, don't smoke, exercise regularly, maintain a healthy weight, eat a healthy diet, and manage your stress.